Oh, book of people. Um, just gonna make a quick video here uh, to keep my hand in on booktube. Um, this is a, about a book which I received in post today and which I just wanna make a quick video on. Um, and this is, a uh, reason I'm showing this book is just because this is one of the great things about um, people with book channels on, on YouTube. I wouldn't have seen this book uh, were not for the fact that it is it was featured by Earl Grey Comics on his channel, which is a great channel all about graphic literature, um, especially European stuff, maybe stuff that is not so typical, not your Marvel Universe kind of material. Um, and the book is this one on Mobius. Jean Giraud, the very well-known French um, band designé or comic book artist who um, did stuff like the Incal and whose work was hugely influential. This book was produced to go along with the exhibition, Mobius exhibition at the Max Ernst Museum. So I was able to get this book because one of the comments um, on the video, Earl Grey's video, um, asked that same question and Earl Grey provided a link to the online shop where he got it. Now I had looked around um, having watched the video for this book and it is pretty expensive on eBay etc but I was able to follow that link and get the book so I will include that um, below so I got this book for the same price that Earl Grey paid for it which was 49 euro uh, now I did pay 15 euro post and packaging so this was not a cheap book but um, I think it was well worth it and um, so I'm going to show you why in a second. Uh, now one of the things that um, Earl Grey didn't mention um, and it's not a criticism it, it wasn't relevant to him but um, one of the joys of this book is that there is a great deal of text from material and that material is printed in both German and in English. So uh, if you're an English speaker like me and a non-German speaker like me, um, this material is entirely accessible to you and there is quite a bit of material uh, in here. So just on the material in here, um, it places Mobius, because this happened at the Ernst, uh, the Max Ernst Museum, uh, Max Ernst was a surrealist painter, um, and this exhibition places uh, Jean Giraud in that context of, you know, European surrealist and surrealism. Um, and anyone who's familiar with his work will, will have seen the influence of surrealism on that, um, on the spacecapes, the landscapes, the, the other planets that uh, Mobius depicts. Um, you know, you can see that influence is there. So we have essays in here, um, which I'll start going through the book and you'll see what kind of, of what you're, what you get for your for your money you get these really magnificent double page spreads throughout um, most of the book is just this material you know if you like to see John Giraud's work uh, to be honest I like to see it whether or not I'm being told a story um, there's just something about the atmosphere of these images um, and the nature of them that kind of Linnea Carr meets surrealism that just makes his work so distinctive um, but it includes um, it's a very famous image but apparently a lot of them a lot of the images in this uh, book have not been seen before haven't been printed before so um, there we go so what we get first here is um, a wander between worlds so this is a as I say this is where the, this kind of textual material starts and you could probably see there it's printed in both German and in English. Uh, there's Little Nemo. He features in here a little bit. Um, you may be familiar with Nemo from the obviously Windsor <coughs> Windsor McKay newspaper column in the early part of the last century. Again, a little bit more text. Um, and leading on here to some quotes on his work. By the man himself. Here we go. Uh, so you see, there's a few pages of, of those, and then again we're back into these double page spreads. There's some panel work. So he's working from panel to panel. And. You also get some line drawings, a bit of cross hatching there. So not just the um, inked or colored work, uh, but the sort of 
gamut of material. There's a surreal image of a giant rabbit chasing these characters across the desert. And one of the things that this book um, talks about is the kind of themes and influences of um, so of of Jean Giro, which include the landscapes of of the old American West. Um, and you can really see that actually when you when you start going through the material. But this is all pictures. You know, there's a huge amount of beautifully printed work here. Um, so actually, I think this represents pretty good value. Um, and then towards the end, again, we get some more textual material, some more essays. Um, going through the influences, the context for this work. Um, and there's also some biographical detail as well here. Um, there we go. There he is in his uniform doing military service. There he is as the slightly older gentleman. Um, and then just one more image I want to show you guys uh, is here you get a fold out, really beautiful fold out here. Let me show you. Or a great show this, but I'm going to show it anyway. Uh, and it goes like this all the way across. So yeah, this is a very nicely produced book. I think it represents pretty good value. And if you're a fan of Mobius as I am, if you like to see those images, this is worth getting. It has a ribbon, sewn binding. Um, so I recommend getting that. And actually, one of the things I got with this book was uh, I got a thank you note, a danke note from the online comic book shop and I did use Google Translate to translate the, the different pages as I was going through buying it um, and they also sent this pamphlet from the actual museum exhibition itself which you can see ran until February 2020 so they just dodged the Covid bullet there um, and again it's just a nice little thing to have thrown in um, there's the Max Ernst Museum it's in Cologne which uh, must visit myself now and uh, there you go keep that with the book so thanks to Earl Grey for showing that I'm really pleased to have got my hands on it um, and thank you for watching